My name is Mike Levitt. I'm here again to show you how to make another cardboard shoe. My last tutorial was about a cardboard Chuck Taylor. This time I'll show you how to make a classic gazelle. My videos are free to watch, but I have companion materials to go along with these tutorials. At my website is a pattern template to cut the cardboard out into all the right shapes and sizes and a digital PDF booklet with more details showing you how to do this. My template and book work really well off each other. And with these video tutorials, it'll give you all the tips and tools for how to make a really nice cardboard shoe. Basically, you just need a sharp knife, glue, and cardboard. Two or three medium-sized boxes should provide enough for this gazelle shoe. The next step is to cut all your pieces out. You should use my template for this. If you're just eyeballing it and cutting freely, I say go for it. I want you to have the confidence to experiment and make mistakes. You could just look at my template here and start by tracing a sole to your own foot size and shape and try cutting the rest of the shapes by roughing out the sizes and proportions from your own foot. Or download my template, print it out, trace it, or cut right through the print onto the cardboard. You need to be ready to fail. It's a big part of the process, even for me. I've made over 60 cardboard shoes from scratch. Not a single one of them has ever gone exactly according to plan. I've never made a cardboard shoe or haven't had to recut a piece to get it right. The material you're using wants to be used and tossed and recycled again. Now that you've cut out all your pieces, let's assemble the sole. You should have eight layers of sole all cut out. One is the insole, cut just slightly smaller than the other seven layers. These seven layers will be glued together to form the sole. Do this now. Liberally apply glue between each of these seven layers. Press them firmly together. Make sure they're all lined up with the edges smooth and flush as the glue is setting. That's it for this part. Next, we'll start building up our shoe.